welcome back to the James Treasure. What's up, guys? Uh, for this episode, I wanted to do something kind of special. It doesn't necessarily involve crystals, which is unique. What I wanted to show you, this is a, it's kind of old, as you can see from the tarnish marks, um, but this is a unique style of copper design that um, when I wear it, I always think of it as like my copper heart. To me, it looks like a heart. Um, other people have told me it looks like a face or there's been other other crazy things that people say it looks like. But anyway, what I wanted to show you for this episode is um, specifically how to get this really nice um, thick wrapping design. And with that, let's get into it. Um, we're gonna start with um, getting each of the necessary gauges of copper wire. The thick wire I use is the 18 gauge. And if you'll notice, the color is actually slightly off when compared with, it's actually kind of hard to tell in the camera view, but um, this is slightly darker. It's a different shade of copper, but that's not a big deal because that one's going to be uh, wrapped and hidden in. It's kind of like the bones of the operation. And then, of course, uh, beyond the 18 gauge, you're going to need a 20 gauge and a 24 gauge. And I'm just going to do a little bit of this design just to get you uh, started with the basic idea of it. Um, and I, I don't really intend to, for this video, to be doing anything that's gonna come out as a whole complete design. Just the basics. And with that, let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is take out maybe about an arm's length of 20 gauge wire and then clip that. So here we have that. And then from there, I think maybe I'll do about triple that amount for the 24 gauge wire. And just let me size it out real quick. Clip the 24 gauge. I'm just gonna wrap up the rest back onto the spool. And then uh, it's triple arm's length is really, it's a lot, a lot of wires. So what I'm gonna do is do this little folding technique in order to shorten the lengths of wire so that they're not getting caught or in the way while I'm doing my wrapping. So I just wrap around my four fingers. about halfway and then from there I just pinch so that it kind of stays more or less in place and that way it's uh, coiled up and it's out of the way and then I'll do the same thing with the other side and I didn't really do a good um, eyeball estimate of how far in the middle this is but that's all right it's not going to be necessary it's not really involved with the actual wrapping so from there i'll pick up the 20 gauge wire i'll kiss the two points together slide down to find a loop at the halfway middle and then from there i'll tuck the 24 gauge wire under and then uh, at that middle point begin to do the wrapping and it starts out pretty difficult um, and in fact I'm gonna do a little bit of that curling technique with the 20 gauge wires as well because they're kind of long it starts out a little bit tedious and difficult just to get started so go slow, that's, that's the advice. I mean, that's always the advice. Um, let me just adjust the camera a little bit. Get my 
myself that angle. Okay. So yeah, just going slow, and this is kind of the normal style for wrapping, normal style, normal pace for when you're doing a little wrap or a basic wrap. By the way, this is, um, I would not consider this to be a beginner style wrapping. I would consider it more of an intermediate just because of the intricacies and also the amount of time that it takes and the patience and the skill. Skill maybe, but I mean, the idea is that I can show you so that anybody can do it. So from there, let's see. I'll do a little bit more actually. And I wanna make sure that my wraps are on point. So you can see that there's just a few little gaps. And actually um, for this style of wrapping, you're gonna want those gaps. So instead of, as I normally do, I, I take my fingertips and pinch them inwards. I'm actually gonna pinch down on the wire wraps and pull outward just to stretch it out a little bit because um, as I've found through experience, if you wrap really tight for this um, particular objective, it's gonna get actually t so tight because this itself is gonna be wrapping around the 18 gauge wire. And if, if it's wrapped so tight, it will actually cause the wire to snap, which I have done enough times to ponder over it and realize that's what's actually happening. And it's, it's not just a lack of skill. Well, a lack of skill in, it, in a sense, but it's, it's a lack of experience and understanding until I got to the point. So let me give you guys the advice so that you can skip through the trial and error and learn from my mistakes. There's an old saying about, uh, you know, the, the two baby brothers, one older, one younger, and the mom tells the kids, don't touch the stove, it's hot. And then, um, the little brother watches the big brother out of curiosity. He just has to touch the stove and then he gets burned and then he cries. And so both brothers learn through the one brother's mistake. And this is kind of relevant because I'm, I'm that older brother who got burned enough times so that I hope I can share with you the knowledge to not make those mistakes. So from here, Sorry, it's been a while since I've done this, um, but that's all right, I haven't forgot. From here, we're gonna do this um, Z, or lightning bolt shape, and um, from there, it's I'm gonna show you a technique that actually makes this go a lot, a lot faster. And let me just, once again, readjust the camera to get my arms a little bit of space. So from here, I wanna make sure both these wires are pulled outward and are not in the way. So I unfolded that a little bit. And then from here, so I take, you can actually see the wire marks I've been pinching. Um, so with my index finger, I'm gonna kinda rest it on the wrapped part portion of the wire and then um, as well, it's between my thumb and my index finger, I'm pinching down on that 24 gauge wire with my thumb, um, fingernail on my thumb, just tucked right underneath this wire. So it's all, and then I just kind of start, boom, reeling it in, kind of like a fishing, fishing line. And I do recommend to, again, go slow in the beginning because what can happen really easy is to overlap and go backwards like that. And once you do that and you don't catch it, it becomes really aggravating and it's kind of like uh, this flaw that's always staring at you once the piece is com complete. Um, 
So as you can see, it kind of naturally makes those wraps tight. And um, so I don't necessarily want them that tight. And what I can do is just pull, but um, it doesn't have to be like super spacious. I just kind of did this as like an over-exaggerated uh, point of example. So as this stretches outwards, it actually becomes a little bit more difficult for me. So what I'm gonna do is just boom, boom, recreate the lightning bolt, and then we're ready to go. Go some more. And I'm gonna unwind the 24 gauge wire, give myself a little bit more to work with. And now that I'm getting into the swing of it, you can see how fast this is going. And it's also, it's also quite easy. Um, one thing to be mindful of is that if you do this repetitively enough, you'll start to like get, if you have sensitive skin, you'll get like blistering area right here. So uh, I guess if you have any concerns with the blistering, be mindful of that. And then um, I'll just show you. All right, so we got this super fast speed as opposed to good. one, two, three, you get what I'm saying? So I like to use this technique for um, the bigger, more heavy duty projects. And I've gotten to that point once again where um, it's kind of far out there. So once again, I'm just gonna twist twist and then keep going and then once again uncoil the 24 gauge wire for that it was uh, I do these recordings on my phone and my phone's uh, memory storage just got full because what I was doing was deleting all the old work but then I wasn't deleting it from the deleted files so then it was technically still stored on my phone but now we're back so here I am close to the end, actually not so close, but um, actually we'll get to that in a second, because I'm about to run out of wire here as well, so when that happens, I'll get to the next phase. Alright, we'll stop here because it's short enough. And so what I want to say is that when you get towards the end, be mindful that um, when this is wrapping around the 18 gauge wire, it's actually going to stretch out this length as well. So even though on this wire, there's this much space that's left un unwrapped, it's actually going to stretch out. So it's good to have a little bit of excess there. From there, let's get to flipping over to the other side and watch for any of these snags as we go along. We want to undo those snags and um, yeah, it wraps this this way. Okay, so then we're just gonna continue onward with that same technique out on the other end.
just the lightning bolt. Kind of funny how that worked. It was really tight in here and then it just stretched out. around the 28 the, the 18 gauge it'll even itself out so I'm getting to the end I can feel it I'm getting to the end of the 24 gauge wire also somewhat close to the end of the 20 gauge wire so I'm getting close to the end of this step and then the next step will involve just a little bit of the 18 gauge wire. Here to here is where the wire has been wrapped, and I'm just going to match that length as the length for the 18 gauge wire. More of this, anyway. So I clip that. And then just kind of eyeball what the middle point is for each of these wires. Cross it over. And then it's the same thing where it's, it starts out. I'm going to start out going slow and careful. And it just looks like that. And it's like, you know, it just already starts to look so incredible. So another thing too is when I'm wrapping this, I'm not wrapping it. I don't want it to be so tight because the tightness will create this um, blanking on the word, but it will create this. Um, it will create some sort of conflict. I'm blanking on the word, but that's all right. So obviously I did not need that much wire. It's been a minute since I've done this, so I just kind of winged it as far as the wire length and necessity. And that's one, one half side. Now we'll flip over and do the other side. Too, if you start to go really tight it will also um, you just want to be smooth with it you don't want to be wrapping so tight because then these bands will actually shrink in size and I, I don't want to do a demonstration of that because it messes up the wire um, but it will create this unevenness so from here you can see how they're all relatively the same length um, height 
but if I were to wrap it tighter, they would they would shrink in, in tightness and kind of like create this bottleneck look. And that does not look smooth. Alright. So we're getting towards the end here of this demonstration. Um, we could stop, you could stop here if you wanted to, or there's, um, one more thing I'd like to show you, and generally I choose between, really you could choose any length of wire for this next step. Generally I choose the 20 gauge wire, sometimes I use the 18 gauge, uh, for this example, I'll just use the 20 gauge. So I clip that off, and... What you'll do is just do in between. So it just kind of mirrors the, the wrap portion that's already there. It just lays over the gap. And then, so I'll show you, as you can see, that's what was done here, right? But then I also there got to a point. Where did it go? Oh, maybe it's not on here. But for other pieces, it would be okay just to use this. Although I do think that this finished look generally looks a lot better. And for this one, you want to be really, really careful about not winding it too tight because what happens if it's too tight is that it will push push the uh, the triple wrapped portions apart and again i don't want to give you a demonstration because it messes up the wire it's impossible to fix um but it, it does the same thing of kind of this this bottleneck boo boo look so I just massaged it a little bit with the, with the pliers there. And so that is, that completes this tutorial, this technique, demonstration. I hope that you can do some cool pieces with this new knowledge that I've shared with you and I hope that you share it with me. Cheers.